All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Gus and Nate podcast. We got a big day because we got the two stars of Chris Peterson's oh, Seed geez. Soil Sun Wait, on the podcast right today. Here. Sorry, that was him and that me. That was me and Sven, Sven both of us collectively. We did the book together. Guys, we wrote it. Let me say. Let me say it though. Let me. Oh, Sven, okay. oh, Sven Johnson ahead. and Thor Johnson. That's Thor us. Johnson. <laughs> okay, yeah. mostly Sven Johnson, but also Let's Thor was in there quite a bit though. Is the funny thing. So guys, anyway, you were saying. I don't. I don't mean to interject here, uh, but I kind of don't appreciate that you started off to saying I wasn't in a book. So, well, that's <clears> the thing is, we would have said you were in the book. If it were factual, yeah, yes. Gus, if you wanted me to, inter- you should have given me some kind of, you could slip something under the door uh, during quarantine and say, hey, don't mention that. I wasn't in a children's book, even though I bragged about it all the time. And my two well, brothers I'm- were in a children's book, even though they didn't brag about it all the time. See, the thing is, not only was Gus not in the book, but they also put uh, on the last page of the book, like in the credits, they said, Purposefully, we left Gus Johnson out of this book because he was an ugly little munchkin. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. I don't know if, wrote if, it in. if we can verify any of this stuff. That doesn't sound nice or accurate. Well, we're so. in quarantine. I mean, I could go so the book. the book is upstairs, man. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't just give it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping right, well, no paper <laughs> Fucking turds are on the podcast today, my brothers. What's up? <laughs> this is gonna be apologies uh in for some listeners we we have a four person discord call right now so if there's any time where people are talking over each other it's not i don't think it's gonna be any of us being rude except for me because when i talk it's time for me to talk you know what i mean say wait eddie, yeah, eddie say something you. again as i'm talking right now that's kind of not important though <laughs> what see how i can just you really, yeah, you. I just, just talk right over you. All right, I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that <laughs> Discord. All right, is, well, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got the brothers here today, and we're gonna tear tear down the discourse of our family even more today in this episode. So buckle up. Our fa- am I part of the family today? You can be. You can be the. You want to get adopted by us? Just for the day, because I don't want to offend the rest of my family. But just for today, yeah. All right, Eddie, you, you can, can have our, our cat family. Wendy's bed. I, I cut out during it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said you can have our cat Wendy's bed. Wait, she has an actual bed? I think so. You guys go baller mode bag. on me you, ever you since can, I left you there? You can have the, the spot where she sleeps, I, mean, I guess. <laughs> like a window sill. All right, well, I figure let's probably just kick it off right away with some great news here. <laughs> That is uh, questions for our English-speaking viewers. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at Eddie Burback, and at Gus Buckets, and at Swembo2000, and at Thor. What's your, is your Twitter public? Oh, man. Well, I, I have a Twitter. I can tell you now I've never once tweeted, and mm. I probably don't plan on tweeting until... Um, until I, now. Well, I mean, the thing is, honestly, I'd like to go to college first and kind of get away from some of the small-town, hometown stuff before I start... Uh, getting a little bit more public on Twitter with my stuff. Um, I don't know, just for various reasons. But no uh, my Twitter we'll is uh, Thor Johnson 18. Hell yeah, Hell. dude. You're the 18th Thor Johnson. That's impressive. That's I made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> All right, I got a question here uh, f- uh, from at Chorizo Tapatio's. Their buddy Alex says, Love Thor them. and Sven, how does it feel being featured in an incredibly famous children's book? How has it ultimately changed your life? Ooh. Okay, well, we don't need to. Uh, well, we no, actually, I think, I think we, we would can like feel to respond. Let's, let's yeah. go ahead and uh, we'll let you sit this one out. Um, oh. If I were to put it in one word, I would say life changing experience. Um, yes, I would like to chime in on this one. I would say um, it really has not gone to my head much at all. Um, this was all actually a New York Times bestseller, it, I believe. It was a was. New York Times bestseller. Um, I I made a lot of money in royalties off this book, mm-hmm. and I just would like to say that I won't have to be doing too many more books from now on. Yeah, I could if I want, but the thing is, uh, this is why Thor doesn't have a YouTube channel. He, He's still I'm just, just riding. I'm riding off the book, the book sun. cash. You guys mind if I yeah. ask you a question about the book real quick? Go for it. Sure. So, yes. I mean, famously, we all know that you guys were in a book and Gus wasn't. Now, when, because since that started off when you were children, uh, do your 
parents love you guys more because you were in the book? Uh, are you treated differently at school than Gus? Was he bullied for not being a like what? What's the differences of a uh, Johnson life in your small town of being um, yeah. a local celebrity <laughs> versus being a dumb little melon head idiot? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I um, if I were to draw a parallel on this, honestly, I would say if Gus Sven and Thor. Think of Gus Van and Thor as seed, soil, and sun. I would be like, me and Thor would be the the seed and the sun, and Gus would be like the dirt. Um, okay. Meaning it's that, called like, soil. It's actually well, called soil, though. So it, usually it, it, we referred to him in our household as dirt because we would walk all over him. Right. Um, <laughs> especially my parents about this typical issue. But yeah, a lot more fame growing up in school. People just loved a lot us. More fame growing up in school. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch. All right, frick you guys. I'm done with the books. <laughs> books are for nerds. Everyone knows it. No one even reads them. So pretty much not cool. <laughs> the thing is, it's a picture book mainly. Too. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's not like it's about you guys. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> we're, just like we're basically stock photos. <laughs> Do you even remember anything about going there that day and being in like the book and stuff? I I very vaguely remember because I it was so weird because oh man I must not have been more than like five or six years old and Sven was like seven or eight then, um but I just remember we went there and all of like the better looking kids, <laughs> namely me and Sven, um we got all the cool jobs because they would just send us to like different parts of the farm and stuff. No. Dude, and I, I specifically remember, I was going to say, I got, like, we rip on Gus for, like, uh, not getting in the book because he wasn't cute. He was too old to be cute. I remember getting kicked out of a few pictures. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no. they'd have, like, a bunch of kids posing, eating a cob of corn, and it's like, okay, let's take you two out and just have you two there. And I was like, oh, man. Let, <laughs> let me know. old enough to know what was going on. Let me know if this is incorrect. I heard a rumor that, yeah, they would take the, the, the good-looking kids to, to be in pictures, um, and the cute ones, and that they would take the ugly kids out uh, to slaughter in the back. Is yeah, that true? because it was yeah. a farm. That was <laughs> we, we were part of another book, yeah. actually. You the, hired known the fact, slaughterhouse. Yeah. We, we actually had two more brothers. Um they did not make it. <laughs> Gorp yeah, Johnson and Blebo. <laughs> <laughs> May God rest their souls. <laughs> to be fair, though, they did get the worst of the two Scandinavian names, though, so it wasn't a huge <laughs> loss. <laughs> uh, rest in pieces out the back of Chris Peterson's farm. <laughs> um, all right, I got another question here from at AMB Andy Larson, and he says. Uh, whenever there's muffins in my house, my mother will eat only the top of each muffin and leave the remains of it for the rest of the family. She <laughs> refuses to accept she's in the wrong, but she ruins the rest of the muffins for everyone else. <laughs> Here's the thing. Comment. I normally we'd freak out. Man, she bought those muffins. She can do whatever the fuck <laughs> she wants with those muffins, man. <laughs> That's a, do you think she's doing it because she likes it or just to tell those kids, like, fuck you, I'm still in charge, like, she's, this is my house? She's a genius parent. She's saying, in life, you don't get the muffin top. You got to work for it. That's, that's good true. parenting. That'll teach them early on. No, that's yeah. insane. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who does that? That's like Our licking mom, the frosting off the cake. <laughs> <laughs> our our mom, does that. Dude, the equivalent of, of what, how that happens in our family is our mom will always make cake for everybody. Uh, and whenever she will do this, if, whether it's for an event or even just for somebody like, hey, Thor, here's your birthday cake, my mom will eat minimum a quarter of the cake first. I know. And then present it on the Ooh. birthday, <laughs> still in the pan, with like a third of the whole cake missing, and just be like, eh, whatever. It's like, it's what like, the f- why? And she'll say, it's your guys' fault. You should have taken it away from me. He's like, That's not a- <laughs> we should not be the ones that have to police this. I'm just it picturing <laughs> like all your classmates over and she sets down a cape, cake and it says happy birthday though <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a kid in my grade whose nickname was Thotho oh I remember that that's what how you get terrible it. That's it's from the, the cakes nickname. that's how that's why, we call him, <laughs> that's why we call him Svee <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a Disney Since boy time. 
No, our mom's good, though. She makes the cake. I guess I can't complain. The mom argument holds up. God dang it. Yeah. yeah. Um, She's aight. She cool. She cool. I got one here from at Emergency Kazoo. It says, hey, when you guys do comedic bits in videos or otherwise, do either of you like being the funny man or straight man in the bit? I notice Eddie takes the role of straight man fantastically a lot, and I'm curious if that's a comedic preference or if it just comes naturally. Um, uh, just because I was mentioned there, but then I want to hear from everybody after. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think I tend to like doing straight man more. I, when it comes to like comedy stuff, I like, um, in my own shit. That's like, like commentary videos. I don't mind being silly in those and weird as hell, but I think usually when I'm in someone else's project, I prefer being the straight man, especially, I don't know. I like being, um, like really weird when you're with another person. But naturally, yeah. when I made sketches in high school, too, I was more of the straight man. I think because I like dissecting, not like ruining the improv of somebody else, but being the one that gets to criticize it. I really, that's like my favorite thing to do. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're saying when you made sketches, you were usually the straight man? Yeah, I went back in high school with my friend Zach. Um, yeah, yeah, I normally was, yeah. See, I, I like doing both roles, but <clears throat> I find usually... Uh, like when I do stuff with Gus, Gus is almost always like the goofy guy, and I'm almost always the straight man, you know, for like Gus's stuff, and then like vice versa for me a lot of times, except for like maybe the rapping in the studio one. When Gus works with me, I'm usually the funny man, and he's usually the straight man, or maybe another funny man too. Yeah, it know. like depends on the the channel too, because I think it would be weird if like more sketches of Gus's he was the straight man, because it's like if you're coming to Gus's channel. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's it's not right. that you don't come for the straight man, but like the point of the video is for the funny man for it. Um, but I gotta, I have to, we have to talk about aside from that question, the the God series that you guys do because holy shit, <laughs> it's still oh, it's like my series. favorite a, thing that you guys one. do. <laughs> Thanks, I, I I'm love the so, God character. Yeah, dude, the God character is so fun, and I'm pissed that we can't do one now for a while. We, without spoiling anything, we did come up with a, a creative workaround while we are in different areas, and we might be able to utilize it, but we have to workshop it first. But yeah, Thor, that's kind of your first big character thing, because you've been in some stuff like sparsely just spread out over the years, but like then this is like your first like character character on the channel stuff. Right. Yeah. No. That's. I mean. That's definitely been a pretty fun one. Um. I like that one too because it's a lot more relaxed and it is like the two times that we filmed it. It's just. It's been more just messing around and stuff. Um. I guess that's really like my only experience with trying to do like a character. Um. But yeah. No. I. I just love how loose those videos are and how it just like is us dicking around. Like we don't really have a script or anything. We just yeah. Kinda, that's like oh, a yeah. lot of the videos that we do. That's Honestly. like, we got that lucky ending too for the Adam and Eve one. We shot a full different ending where like Thor coaxed us to the bottom of the roof and then like we, we convinced him to like take an apple and then he tricked us and like electrocuted us and I was going to add in like <laughs> fake electrocutal like shit. But but then like our mom came out and was actually trying to lecture us on real Bible verses. And stuff. <laughs> so like, it's like, this just seems like a better ending. We better just do this anyway. I like that God, kind of God, kill flaw. my mom. <laughs> I like I that, that yeah. one. I love that gif of Thor, too, is when Thor's dancing yeah. with him. Wow, <laughs> look at him go! It's just like the little wave. Yeah, because it's <laughs> such a so lame fun. dance and everyone's just impressed <laughs> yeah. with the son of God. Can you guys do me a uh, favor real quick? We can keep this in, too. Um, mm-hmm. my, so my computer just, like, absolutely froze for a good minute. I couldn't even hear sure. you guys. Um, and I'm not sure if my recording froze and kept going or if it's, like, what, what time code are you guys at for recording right now? About 13 uh, minutes. Right. Recording. I'm that at like 1420. I can't really. T- all right, Tony will have to. We're talking to each other now, so it'll get fixed. So, sorry. Sure. Just we'll, we'll even keep this in. Yeah, guys, remote shit sucks. Sorry. What were you guys talking yeah. about? I couldn't hear you for a minute. It's the son of God, pretty much. No, we're just pretty saying we hadn't. Yeah, you, know, you miss gold here, Eddie. <laughs> uh, we were we were saying for the God video, we we had a different ending for the very first one and then we fully mm. filmed it but then my mom came out and started lecturing us actually on bible verses so i was just like i don't know that seems a lot funnier probably just do, just do that i think that especially that part of it is what makes it so good for like other people to watch like that was my mom's favorite part of the video when i showed it to her it yeah. sometimes those come out yeah like that one is one that i like showed to a bunch of people especially god damn so much of it is so funny as the, i know thor you mentioned like how much fun it is i think all, for all of us Sometimes even, and it's not the case with the God one because that's a more like successful sketch, but the ones where you really get to just like 
do something so stupid and it's so loose and you're just mic'd up so you can just do bits the whole time, like Potato mm-hmm. Chip Boys or something like that. It's so yeah, goddamn oh, fun. It's the best. Oh, yeah. And I'm still I bummed. By the way, if you guys haven't seen it yet, the video Eddie and I shot and put out, God, it must have been even like three, four months ago at this point, the Hey Man, Do You Want to Make a Video? Like that, nobody saw that one relative to other shit. And that's one of my favorite ones that we've shot. It's just mm-hmm. that simple, loose setup stuff. So, yeah, just yeah, the like fuck around too. ones. I was I surprised because we showed up to Buffer Fest with that and Potato Chip Boys, and that did a little bit better than Potato Chip Boys in the theater, and I, th- I really thought it was going to be the other way around. Not oh, that, yeah, me not too. Not that Potato Chip Boys did bad, but it was just like, oh, well, this video has more than I thought. Because I, I was like, oh, I know it's fun that we're doing a conversational thing, but will other people like it? And I mm-hmm. guess they did, and they loved it, and there was a standing ovation, and we got paid <laughs> in BMWs and uh, other free cars. Whoa. That's and crazy. Gave I gave you a high five. <laughs> my favorite part about the standing ovation, too, because we were on stage, is I could see every member of the audience had a boner, too, when they're standing oh. up. So. Weird. <laughs> Showbiz, baby? I don't even know. Even the women? <laughs> yeah. yeah, even the women. Like, during the Q&A, one of the women like stands up and is like, um, I have a boner <laughs> could you um, answer can, something <laughs> um could we get some boners from some of the women on stage <laughs> oh my god. God. call back call back <laughs> oh my god all right oh i gotta pray gunta that. here for you let's do it hit me this comes from uh fuck i'll i'll find your name here um, but it, it says what oh here right here at Cameron Russell says who in the family has committed the most heinous household offense Ooh. Oh, that's, oh, that's that's salacious. a good question here I got I got one that is a mystery this is the most heinous household offense and nobody in our family owned up to it <laughs> is this the booger saying. wall yes, yes! <laughs> the booger wall what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will okay so well we probably were like it must have been like 10 or 12 years ago. But I noticed in... Was it the bathroom there it, was? It was the bathroom. Is one of our upstairs bathrooms, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we have, we have this boys' bathroom that's just us three boys. <laughs> and one day, out of nowhere, this booger showed up on the wall. And it was a good size. Like, there was a lot there of mucus attached boogers. to it and stuff. And uh, no one owned up to it. And we're still, to this day, like, no one will well, fess up to it. The thing is, time went on and more boogers would appear yeah. on the wall yeah. after we, like, called it out. I and just, I swear on my life, I did not I, put my boogers promise, on that wall. I promise, I will take this to my deathbed. I did not, I did not put the booger on the wall. You I'm in some... a tough position answering third here, but I cannot <laughs> swear enough. I didn't fucking do that. I didn't do it. I love just the, the way you guys introduced it though, too. Where it's like, are we really going to talk about the poop door? <laughs> <laughs> going deep right away. I don't know. The thing is. It's definitely not me. So it's like it had to have been one of you guys. Or was Hani even born yet? Hani was Han- like, Hani was like maybe two years old at that time. Yeah. I don't know. Man, but I mean, she wouldn't have been in that bathroom though. Is the thing what here? If here it's was one like of your another parents. Dude, Ooh. if it was dad, it was dad. <laughs> <laughs> here was the thing too, because we went like forensic with this shit too. Um, <laughs> The boogers were so high up on the wall that for me and Thor to smear them, we would have had to stand on the edge of the toilet seat. Right. Okay. F- I didn't do it. <laughs> I did not do it. I don't know. Why would I do that? That's serial killer gross. shit. That is, uh, that is insane. I don't know why or how they were specifically that high up on the wall, let alone in the on the wall in the first place, but... In in your defense, Gus, I I am uh, recalling Sven used to be a bit of a sleepwalker when he was a kid, though. So That's now true. I think this might bring okay. something new to the saying, table. Are you cause... saying Sven, in his sleep, stood on the edge of the court? <laughs> 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 oh, it is possible. Is, I'll say, as an uh, an outside judge during this, it sounds like none of you did this. Like I believe all three of you when That's... you say it. That's why it is such a mystery, dude. We seriously still don't know who did this. Oh, man. I don't know. What I don't the... know, dude. But it that was, was probably the most egregious ghost. offense. <laughs> the booger ghost. <laughs> That's a, yeah, I just, I have no idea. I wish I knew. Because it, it was such a, like, premeditated <clears throat> act. Because you had, because boogers kept appearing is the thing, too. It wasn't yeah, just, right. like, a constellation that showed up in the sky one day. It's just like, oh, this is progressively getting worse over here. <laughs> I don't Did know. Any yeah, of the not... boogers look like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's scrape it oh, off the wall. Like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, um, yeah, that's probably the no, worst one. We were talking about like just stupid brain melting shit that we used to do when we were kids the other day. You and me, Gus. Um, I remember I did some stupid stuff. Like I used to have a Swiss Army knife with a little scissors on it, and every day before I would go nap, I would cut a little bit of my hair off and put it behind the lazy boy. Okay, Sven did booger wall. I'm a yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck your family was on during the I like, I like how that's like it, the way you said it sounded like it's like Bush did 9 11. <laughs> Sven, Sven did, did booger, booger wall. wall. <laughs> Dude, like, my shit is like, oh, I was really into blues clues and I got a handy dandy notebook and wrote crayon on the wall. I didn't, like, start chopping my hair off and leaving little hair crumbs for everyone in the family. Who, who was it that uh, used to sit and pick and eat dead fried ladybugs out of the that heat? Was that was funny. Uh, well, what? I, okay. what? I might have done that one. <laughs> <while. laughs> the part you <laughs> ate ladybugs out of the I, heat? Okay. Bed? I do not remember doing it, but apparently, according to mom, uh, it seems yeah, like you just didn't. now remember doing it. I didn't. Well, I remember via mom. Was there a memory. gas leak in your house? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? We had those little air vents that were just in the ground, like, and that's just where the heater would come out of, and uh, like there would be ladybugs that get trapped in there all the time. And mom started like when they changed the kids' diapers. I don't remember who it was, but she started finding ladybugs in their shit. So. She Figured the kids were lifting it up and eating ladybugs out of the heat vent. I'm crying right now. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Just all in the family. I need to hear more. (laughs) What else happened at this house? Gosh, I don't even know. One one time I peed all of my pants at once. (laughs) That's right. Oh, okay. I I remember one story about Gus, too. Um, apparently <laughs> Gus used to sleepwalk too when he was a kid. Yeah. And I remember hearing how, uh, one time when he was like, I don't know, you were probably only like two or three, but mom always talks about how you woke up, got out from your crib and walked all the way downstairs to our basement and started peeing on the floor in the basement. What? That's yeah. creepy. Can you imagine being a parent though and going downstairs and your child is like in the middle of the night, just pissing on the floor in the basement? <laughs> what do like- you do? Just like you can't sense down, that, can you? <laughs> That's uh, my mom can't told get... me once that uh, one of my uncles used to sleepwalk a lot, and so this is you know in like the uh, probably like the early '60s where he uh, he one time walked downstairs and both of like my grandparents were watching TV and he walked up to the TV and then just started peeing on the screen. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I love it, like dude. That. I yeah. I remember one time I was in like. God, it must have been like either preschool or kindergarten or something. I was probably like four through six. And uh, I just uh, like I I put on my blue jeans to go to school. And I was like, they were really wet. And I remember, you know, our mom doesn't really use the clothes dryer. She hangs clothes out on the laundry line for the most part. So it's like, oh, I guess mom just pulled these in too early or something. (laughs) But uh, my mom was like, gosh, you smell like pee. Like what's going on? And she smelled (laughs) and my pants stunk. And she's like, go put on another pair. And we went upstairs, and then, like, all of my pants drawer stunk, and it was the bottom drawer. So we surmised that during the night, I had opened my bottom drawer of pants and peed over all of my pants at once. <laughs> oh, man. It was like a stovetop for it. You just <laughs> yeah. you, you cooked the rest of your clothes. Yeah. That was uh, one time when... Uh, I was, I had to have been like in first grade. It was right when um, like Pee Wee baseball had stopped. Is that what you guys called little baseball when you're not in a league? That was we what had it was coach called. pitch. Uh, like called little hockey. league. But yeah. Um, but yeah it's, well, I mean, because little league is still when you're a kid in it, but I'm talking about like the real young one. But mm-hmm. like it was, oh. it was right when I, you got out of that. So I think I was like seven. And I was uh, uh, in, I think I was in like a left field and I had to pee so bad. But like, you know, when you just can't stop the game to pee, especially when you're seven, you have no authority (laughs) at all. So I just like pissed myself like a little bit. (laughs) And then I I went back. I kind of like took the like outer way to the dugout. And then I walked and I grabbed my water and I purposely spilled it on my pants. And I was like, oh, Oh, man. And that is a slick move. Well, because it's a slick move. Think of, you know, obviously the pants for it. It shows so much if you piss yourself in a baseball uniform. (laughs) So like then and then instantly like everyone was like, oh, okay. Like he spilled on himself, and then I never got caught. So you know, um. I speaking of stupid shit that we did when we were kids and 
involving peeing during baseball. Um, I remember because my dad is the baseball coach in our town. Um, so every time after like a varsity baseball game, us little kids would just be like running around and he'd let us go run around the bases, you know. But anyway, I was like four years old maybe and I had to pee and my mom let me go run around the bases but I just took a piss on home plate. Yeah. <laughs> like as fans were leaving the stadium, there's this four year old me. The coach's kid is pissing yeah. on in front of everybody. There's a game after and somebody tries to slide in after the- <laughs> Whoa. It's <laughs> just a puddle splash. They keep oh, sliding into the other dugout. <laughs> they just Whoa, keep going. Stop. Yeah, I mean, uh, did, you didn't have any other heinous shit. It was just blues clue, clue in the walls, Eddie. No, I I can't really think of. There was nothing like real gross at all. I remember I used to just um, uh, sharing a bathroom with with Tony and which I used to before be annoyed with the amount of like makeup and stuff that that he had to use. Oh wait, I don't fuck. I don't say my sister's name ever. Tony, just bleep it. Don't cut it out. Um, but yeah, just like uh, I don't know. There's nothing really like I can't think of anything that awful tony will bring up the time i've already mentioned it on the podcast but i don't know if Sven and thor know one time when i was sick tony and i had a bunk bed until we were like oh, yeah. 16 oh. um one time when i was <laughs> sick and i was oh, four yeah. I, I i got sick and i was i was it had to have been like four or five and i was on the top bunk and i had to throw up and i had to make the choice of i couldn't get down from the top bunk fast enough so like in between the wall and the bunk bed i just like threw up so tony wow. tony woke, tony woke up to puke just like coming down the wall <laughs> slowly sliding down the wall Dude, that reminds me like what what a bunch of like weird vaguely similar stories we have our sister used to share a room with me and thor when we were really little Mm. and i just remember one night she was sick and she had her bed like right next to all of our clothes drawers and they were (laughs) all open and um she was sick and she just threw up sideways into all of our open clothes drawers (laughs) a bunch of our clothes Man, somebody yeah. puked on my favorite stuffed bunny, Fluffy, when I was a kid, too. Like, I don't remember. I think it was Honey or, or somebody, too. Like, I had this nice, cool, white stuffed animal. I, I was just chill with him in bed, and I'd and someone fucking barfed all over him, and I had to throw him out. That's the oh, worst. Man. That's the worst. That's the oh, I got, a, I got another pregunta here, though, that's less puke-themed. At D Fapiano 14 says, Do you think birds and other animals have their own societies? Do you think there is a bird president and bird congress with working class birds? Um, sometimes I think there's a question that you shouldn't read on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we might have found it. <laughs> That's weird. I haven't seen it yet. But anyway, but this bird thing. Uh, I do keep wishing, though, that uh, like that with this whole outside toast thing that we got going on again i burned a piece of toast and put it out on the windowsill here and i've been documenting it on instagram sabrina put a little piece of tin foil on there and we were hoping that maybe a crow would start would would get attracted to it and take it because they like shiny things and they're smart but other than that i have not observed any form of bird uh cohesive societies (laughs) yeah crows are really smart though dude yeah they are fucking smart they can solve like three-step problems and shit fun fact there's a guy, uh, I saw this documentary on this dude that used, he, he created some like deposit boxes around his city um, because crows are attracted to those shiny things. And it would, uh, he, he trained some crows to go out and whenever they found something shiny, like, you know, it could be sometimes coins or jewelry or something, they'd pick it up and they'd go deposit it in the box and whenever a little like object went through it would dispense a tiny bit of like bird seed so the crows started learning that and they would go and they would like sometimes bring in like rings and necklaces and like quarters and stuff like that and this i don't know how much money this dude made but i was just like that's a pretty cool idea is that, that really theft? Cool. <laughs> is yeah that, oh like, yeah is hiring, that... <laughs> hiring mer- or like birds to go do your dirty work and steal for you gotta learn bird law they'll figure it out i just like i like picturing a crow just yanking some ladies like gold chain off yeah, well, I, I assume they're not <laughs> assaulting people <for laughs> meanwhile this guy is just sitting up there mm, <laughs> watching it all go down lord of the birds <clears throat> I got I, one, one for thing, you I have an actual sl- small real quick bird question do you think birds uh, mean to shit on people when they do for some of the time I, I do think sometimes and 
like, you know, obviously we try to impose like human <laughs> thought processes onto it. Like, oh, he's getting revenge or something. But like, they probably have their own reason. Like, maybe it's like, get the fuck out of here. Or like, I got babies up here. Mm-hmm. I, I do think that they do that on purpose, though. Sometimes. Yeah. I was just, because it's, remember, I mentioned this on the podcast a bunch of times before. I had only uh, had a bird shit on me once before. I was uh, um, like standing around a Taco Bell with a bunch of my middle school friends holding a cheesy Fiesta potato and it shit on my hand and in the cheesy Fiesta potato. <laughs> oh, what the hell? That um, is the fucking worst. Then I told <laughs> Gus about this while we were at the Santa Monica Pier on a trip here before we moved. Yeah. <laughs> and 10 minutes after I told him, a bird shit on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, and I, I, I remember that. saying, like, that's the only time a bird's ever shit on me. <laughs> like, when it happened, it was such a coincidence that we both looked at each other like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> like, I just mentioned that. Because it, it happens so rarely that you're shocked. Like, this doesn't happen to me. This happens to other people. What? Yeah. I've never Dude, seen that happen to anyone. I remember the last time a bird shit on me was uh, Sabrina and I, when I was still, like, com- commuting every weekend before I was living out here, uh, like, Sabrina and I were at some, like, really fancy, like, pier. I don't remember where it was, but it was in, like, more Southern California. And she's, like, the whole day, she's, like, we got a driveway out here. They have legendary seafood and, like, the stir-fried shrimp and stuff, too. So we wait in line. It's a hot and sweaty day. I was wearing a blazer for some reason. I don't know why the fuck I was. I think we were filming a sketch. But we finally get our seafood, and it's the end of the day, and we sit down on the edge of the pier, and I get, like, two bites in on this delicious shrimp, and a just seagull just shits all over all of our food and my blazer. And it was, like, the worst. I was so angry because I was hot and sweaty, and I I had to fly home, like, late that night, and then there's bird shit all over the one thing that we were looking for forward to all day it was a fucking disaster i hate it <laughs> they mean it they mean it when they do it they knew that guy knew <laughs> <laughs> just um, like it, sven meant to put the boogers on the wall it was not me i didn't <laughs> I'm do just kidding. Wall. i don't want i don't want to make it <laughs> sven did not do booger wall <laughs> <laughs> We'll we'll have we'll throw out a vote. We'll throw out a vote. Off podcast, I will consult mom and see what her booger wall opinions are. But okay, um, Eddie, do we have any pieces of mail? Mail. 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 Check. I'm not sure, so I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. Um, yeah, though, Sven and Thor, I have a, I got a, a question primarily for Thor. I saw a number of these questions get get asked, uh, so I'll condense it down into one. But uh, you know, people know you're in high school right now. Uh, and, and it's your senior year and that ultimately kind of just got canceled. Like what, what's that like? Like, what are you and your buddies doing? Like, what does that mean for the rest of your year? Yeah, man, that it's, it's uh weird because like, I always feel weird complaining a bunch about this. Cause like, mm-hmm. obviously there's a lot of people that are a lot worse off and, um, but at the same time, it's, it just feels so bizarre and unreal. And like right now, cause like they still haven't officially canceled our school for the rest of the year. Um, Oh, it doesn't really? even feel like it's yeah no because we still it's like a temporary ban until like 24th of april um but it's it's just so weird because like i don't know it it was just without warning because like mm-hmm. we knew like the virus was spreading and stuff uh and then just all at once it was just yeah no school for two weeks and then and now it's kind of pretty much indefinite well, Thor, oh, also, you, 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 like, don't even have to preface it with, like, it, that sucks. You know what I mean? Like, you, obviously, yeah. people have it worse off. But that's, like, a pretty significant thing that you, like, have a right to be upset about, honestly. Because it's, like... Yeah, like, the, that's part of it, your yeah. your life. Right. Like, everyone remembers, like, oh, my senior year. Yeah, Just no, too. Especially because it was, like, the second half of, like, the senior year. And uh, one of the things I hate the most is, like, I wasn't able to experience my senior slide as much. So, like, I still had, like, I was riding off the momentum of, like, first half of the year, I was, like, kind of trying in school, mm-hmm. um, but now, like, the second half, it's like, I'm just gonna dick around and, like, have fun with my friends. That was my favorite part of school. I know. Like, it's, like, ever. the best part of my school career um, just was pretty much gone within, like, a week, and that, it, it's pretty shitty, um, and one of the biggest things I'm disappointed about, too, is, like, uh, baseball, it was supposed to be my senior baseball season, too. And like as Sven yeah. said earlier, uh, our dad's the coach, and then just out of nowhere, we had that all canceled for the rest of the year. Boink. So that's kind of kind of a big bummer. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm I'm hanging in there. It's good. Me and my friends uh, did a pretty good job on like the last day of like 
setting up like discords and stuff and we still play like playstation with each other pretty yeah. much every day dude so, yeah video games with friends has been <clears throat> saving my ass man it's like oh, so, yeah. so important right now yeah seriously it's, i feel i feel so bad for like my girlfriend like definitely not doing any gender stereotypes here but just like i know way fewer girls who play video games and like have video game consoles and guys like that is the only reason why i have like not lost my mind because I can hang out with my friends and talk to them on video games. Like my girlfriend Abby, she she has like nothing to do that with, you know. So she has hardly any way to keep in touch with her friends every night, mm. like I do. <clears throat> right? Yeah. It it seems like it's a lot nicer too. Like that. Like every all the guys are going through it at the same time. Um, and you can just hop on and talk to them whenever. Like I'm still I'm like getting, just talking wise. I'm probably hanging out with the guys. Um for probably four hours out of the day on Damn. average Damn. so it's like i'm still keeping up with everyone which is uh it's been really nice because like sven said had it not been for all that interaction then i probably would have been going a little bit stir crazy here but no it's it's been uh i've adjusted fairly well i feel like to the mm-hmm. whole um like school being done stuff except now we have online school and that's just that's a mess it's yeah. like no one really has any motivation for it and we're all just dicking around for the most part yeah what are you gonna say eddie um i was just gonna say like uh for people that don't play games that listen to the podcast i can't really explain like it really does it doesn't feel like you're just chatting with someone online like you really feel like you're hanging out with your friends for a while and that's the thing is i can't explain to tony and i were joking about it that the moment you log off of being online with your friends is the loneliest five seconds of your life. It's just like you go from feeling like you were hanging out with everyone to just complete silence in your room. And you're like, oh, right. I'm yeah. Here. Man, it's the best. And you can do it really for a budget too. Uh, like even if you have a very, very basic like computer or laptop, maybe school issued or something like that, or you got an older console, again, like all you need is Discord or something. Uh, but I'm even looking here too, like the, the games that me and the boys have been vibing on largely in the last like couple weeks. I mean, besides Call of Duty Warzone shit, we're playing like oh, yeah. Clue and Monopoly and Uno yeah. and Blackjack <laughs> and stuff. It's like you could have a computer from like 2002 and probably run all those. So. Oh, dude, is that what Curtis was tagging me in? I didn't know he was asking to play games. I just saw the message and I was kind of confused and I was like, oh, I'll ask, I'll ask them later. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll do it again. But yeah, we've been vibing hard on Clue. Last night, uh, we started playing monopoly but it was so late in the game session that like i got really drunk and i think like a couple of the other guys got drunk but i felt bad because i was like at, at the point where it's the end of the night and i was almost falling asleep and i was like oh fuck dude but we're gonna hit those board games again uh but yeah it's been really fun just playing goofy shit like from our childhood too mm. that's Dude, nice war zone is like my favorite thing ever lately oh it's the best playing dude. every single night dude we finally I, I, got our first win eddie it took us forever is me and sven oh, and our nice. buddy richard Fucking great. I got, like, 11 kills, and it's because I had the RPG, and I must have fired 30 rounds out of that thing in the round. Fuck yeah. RPG is underrated, dude. I just love... I love all the gameplay mechanics that they added with the, uh, like, the gulag and Mm -hmm. being able to buy loadout drops and upgrades and stuff like that it's sexy character models yeah that was my my self brag moment i was really happy with is the the one of the wins that i have was uh with uh i think it it was with tony and my friend zach which again i know fucking everyone's like (laughs) i have two (laughs) i have two different childhood friends zach's that i'm still friends with so it sounds like i there's a very present zach in my life but there's two of them Who's um, the Zach guy, Eddie? You're always talking about it. It's crazy. <laughs> but no, we, we were playing, and uh, <coughs> they had both died, and like it was like post-Gulag stuff, um, and I won um, the match against multiple squads. Like the, the ending fight was me versus a full squad, and I took them all out, and I was very proud of myself. Um, Dude, that is the best. Nice. I'll, yes. I'll say, though, I, lo- I really like Warzone a lot, but personally for my taste – Gunfight is like my favorite shooter shit in the last couple of years, man. Especially three v threes. Holy fuck! It just it just feels like a perfect like arena, fucking test of like uh kind of strength for it. It's so yeah. fun. The pacing is so great too. You know, it's perfect, dude. I love it Absolutely. so much. And oh, I'm yeah. good yeah. at it. Okay. <laughs> oh whoa! Me. Actually, Truth comes out. <laughs> Jakey and I issued out a challenge, and I fully believe this. If you're not um, if you're not a Call of Duty YouTuber or a gaming YouTuber, Jakey and I said publicly, if you're not a gaming YouTuber, we are confident we can beat you in 2v2s. Any YouTuber can challenge us. 
that's okay, but we will beat you. And that's Damn. it. It's high praise. I've I've never been good at those two v twos or the three v threes. I just I, I like my guns when I have like all the customizations on them, but it it gives you like default car ninety eight or well that's like, what I love is that you're it's the level playing field every match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but also, right. I did find a piece of you guys. Do it with me. <gasps> Dude, Matt, 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 Matt. 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 This one is from. Um, I, is it? It looks like. Wait, how would you pronounce? Is it like Adia? It's A D I A. A D I A. Adia. Adia. Okay. Uh, Adia. Yeah, Adia? maybe something like that. Idea. Yeah, that's it. Um. Okay. Fuck. Okay. I opened that poorly. So we're ripping it now. What does it look like, Eddie? I've, I haven't felt male in weeks. Okay. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm sure that it's, it's nice just opening it up, though. It's things wrapped in tape, and there is um, a strand of hair in here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Outside so, world. Okay. I'll read, the, I'll read the note first. We really got to milk these ones, you know? <laughs> sure. Okay, hold Thor, on. Thor, did you say, ah, the outside world for the piece of hair? <laughs> I was just reminiscing. <laughs> just smelling a girl's hair through the mail. <laughs> Do you guys remember <clears throat> hair? <laughs> Speaking of that guys, really quick, I need a haircut oh, yeah. so I was gonna say, too, bad, dude. Are you guys shaving at all during this quarantine? Yeah. I, yeah, a little bit. I shaved my... I had a really bad... It was like a billy goat beard and i shaved that but other than that no i'm planning on not shaving during quarantine break yeah i just want to see what i got in the tank i want to see what i can do <laughs> yeah that's about what i'm doing mine is such a scrappy piece of shit beard though and it's so patchy but i figured you know fuck it might as well let it grow out now when am i ever gonna do that again you know yeah mm. that's true oh well what do you got there for the note okay so it said hi gus and eddie i know you said hold off on mail but i just couldn't resist sending you all these well actually thank you because not listening to us gave us uh some material here yeah. um so uh it says these are homemade shrinky dink pins referenced your logos and photos heavily i'm gonna i'm trying to unwrap it right now but the wrapping is very taped um you find any more hair in there no <laughs> not yet i open it up and it's just a lot of hair yeah, <laughs> um, she made it out of her own hair. <laughs> Look, I'm still unwrapping. Ew! It's a handmade Gus and Eddie logo pin. Damn, uh, I'm picturing what it cool. might look like, and it looks great in my mind. Dude, it looks badass. Hold on, I'm gonna open. There's three of them, but I'm just gonna actually I'll open all three. That's cool. Uh, this one's fucking tiny, dude. Dude, oh my I still, god, the ref is so complicated. Sorry, what were you saying? Well, I was like, again, till Stu, this must be a package that made it in, uh, I, like, obviously pre-quarantine, because still, like, I have not been able to go to the post office for, must be a month and a half now, you know, at least, because yeah. I was already, like, a week and a half behind, and then the corona shit hit, so. Mm. I, I Dude. feel like mailing stuff is not, wouldn't that spread stuff, like, way worse? Cause it doesn't don't It the... doesn't stay on mail for a long period. Like, mm-hmm. it's, for, for surface, oh, okay. surface stuff, it would be dead by that time. But, I just don't um, want to go okay. to the post office because yeah. I have to touch the doors and the keys and the and interact right. with the person That's every true. time. But that makes sense. What um, you got, Eddie? I, the the second pin I I had, and I'm assuming the third one is me, is a really good hand drawn uh, thing of you, and it's just a nice little. Wow. So it's a pin of your That's face. Nice. Um, but it's like it's not a print. They clearly like drew on it. Um, all right. Uh, my one is the one with the hair on it, so I guess that means uh, that she likes me the most. Well, hold on now. Let's. What if we? Uh, what if I had you cut the hair in half with one of the knives, and you come leave half the hair up outside the other? Apartment? I don't think I will. <laughs> cut it down. You, the you guys are just splitting so hairs here. Oh, okay. Okay. I got a boy support boys one, but I'm, I'm <laughs> opening until it's it's mine because now I was just cocky about her liking me more. <laughs> if I'm not in here, then. Oh no, this one's me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, this is fucking cool. I, I don't know if you can, people can see it at all because it's so small, but mm-hmm. these are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for sending that in. Well, that pretty much does it for this week's Mail. You got more preguntas, right. jackass? I got a flippin' uh, okay. jackass for now in theaters question here for you from at Mr. Fish to third said, uh, what was your worst family vacation moment? Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty we much... We went to Ohio one year. <laughs> we, we did go to Ohio. <laughs> Dory, you're not supposed to say that! What the hell? You, 
You Dude, what? business. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing. We went around Ohio <laughs> one year, he said. Cut the tape. I'm about to say, uh... <laughs> one time when we were flying, too, we even asked the pilot to fly around the entire <laughs> aerial space of Ohio. Yeah, we just and kept mashing the attendant button. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I, yeah, I called an attendant over and I said, Can, does this plane drop napalm at all <laughs> <laughs> yes but uh we're gonna have to charge it's in the menu on, uh, on the seat back there i'm like oh, eight dollars <laughs> comes with a mixer like little v8 juice okay 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 dude i don't know we've had a lot of really rough vacations uh <laughs> <laughs> well the thing is they're not rough but we have, like, they're always really, really good, but they are yeah, stressful. Right. They're very stressful. I remember the time Hani walked flat out into a glass sliding door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of ruined a day. Uh, but, <laughs> man, other than that, I don't, I don't know. know. We, we've been pretty good. Oh, I guess uh, we kind of got kicked out of Mount Olympus in Wisconsin Dells. Like, That's like right, yeah. The first year that we went there, uh, Eddie, we've talked about the Dells before, too, and I know you know about yeah. Mount Olympus. But, uh, mm-hmm. again, Wisconsin Dells, water park capital of the world. Uh, no, that's not a joke. That's actually real. Um, it's Vegas Mount- for families. It absolutely is Vegas for families, dude. But our family, many years, have gone to the Mount Olympus theme park. It's like this kind of ancient Greece or Roman uh, kind of theme thing. Yeah, and great. they have some of the best go-karts I've, we've ever seen. Right, guys? Like, they're just the best yeah. easily ever. They're so fast. Yeah, and just, they're real quick, I want to add for, for the Dell stuff. I realize now with Discord, it sounded like I interrupted you way more. I apologize. Um, oh uh, like, just with all of the Dells, it's the only kind of business ecosystem is fun. So, like, there's, like, a thousand go-kart places and arcades everywhere. So, for Mount Olympus as a business, they have to top a bunch of other go-kart areas. So, go ahead, sorry. Oh, absolutely. And that's, like, with everything in the Dells, it's, like, if you find, like, a place that does something the best, it's, like, they very much do it the best because they Mm -hmm. have the biggest competition in the world. But their go-karts are fucking great, dude. And sometimes you have just these outlier carts that you can remember and be, like, oh, next time we're getting in number 11, that goes, like, eight miles an hour faster. And there's the tracks are so huge and winding and long that they just can't have personnel at every part of the track. So naturally, you get in there and it's like you and and you try to you, you don't target vulnerable people, but sometimes you got like another summer vacation dad where you can tell like that is in 80% of his action for the entire year is just in that one go-kart track. Yeah. So he's just riding like he's Jeff fucking Gordon, you know? <laughs> and, and you're just bumping people and, like, trying to do pit maneuvers and spin them out and shit. And it, like, it really hurts, though. Like, if you if you crash and shit. And I remember one year, like, we were... I, I don't even remember who did it. I think I did it. But I was fighting with another Midwest dad, and I, like, I swerved out, and I, like, T-boned like this girl, like this grown woman, and she like skidded off and like full speed collided into a wall and like popped out of her cart a little bit. Like, I'm boom, gonna, like it was a yeah. huge one. And I was like, it was fully an accident. I was not even targeting her. <laughs> and like, we just kind of came back in and uh, the, her husband had seen it. And, and she just like, like he was like, who did it? Who did it? Where are they? Where are they? And we are just like, eh. So we kind of just had to go, like, hide in the other part of the park. Because we every time we go back there, we get kicked out of a track, and we just go back later. Because it's like, mm. Dad's the, one it's of the worst, too. He just keeps yeah, bumping change. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, I have a sort of similar story where one time, uh, I mean, obviously, you guys know where it's like, uh, in smaller town Wisconsin stuff, sometimes there's just like a go-kart place in the middle of the woods that's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I was at one of those uh, once with with my family and my cousin uh, went to because, you know, those are way, like way less regulated and they don't have go karts that auto turn off, you know, like once yeah. you get to a certain spot. And my cousin was like 10. And when we got to the end of the race where there was like all the go karts parked, he just didn't break. Like oh, he just didn't slow what? down. And he slammed completely into one of them, like ruining both go karts. And oh, um, so it, that was uh, dumb as hell. <laughs> that was pretty much it. it was a Damn, dude. 
Yeah, like I feel like every year we go back there, like you always see a couple instances of that where it's like some kid and they're just screaming into the parking space. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. uh, and it comes just this kid's first worst. run. And you can tell, you can see them coming from about 80 yards out. Their eyes are like saucers and they're just kind of like steering and looking down frantically. Yeah. And they just ruin the be- the spinal cords of like the four people in front of them. Dude, I got to say too, because uh, you were uh, on tour, I know, for it. And we mm-hmm. all wanted to do it again with, with all of these boys but you know who knows what this summer but the being an adult at the Dells is so great because like oh yeah you, you can just do whatever you want and you have money now to do all the cheap things that uh, when you were a kid your parents had to say no to you know yeah. like yeah. if you want to ride a go-kart track 14 times you can you know and also yeah. they you can drink in the water parks like all over it's fucking awesome it's so great God damn, dude. I was so bummed I couldn't go to the na- the last one. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know if we'll even be able to do that this year now, too. Because yeah. it's not an all-year-round kind of thing. Damn. Um, yeah. Also, remind so, me, boys, I have something that I have to mention off-podcast that's just like a dumb little thing to you guys, and I don't want to forget it. That's very frustrating remember. for okay. everyone else listening. But sorry, <laughs> guess you're not in the inner circle. Sorry. Bye-bye, sweeties. Loser. <laughs> I've got a pregunta here that is a little Thor-specific, all right? So... Uh, at Jaron eight seven one seven two seven seven four says question for Thor: Would you ever start a YouTube channel, and if so, what kind of content would you put out? Ooh. Oh, that's that's a good question. I have gotten uh, a few questions, mostly just from like my buddies back home here. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I've thought about it in the past. I I don't really know one hundred percent yet, which is not a very good answer to give. But like, I don't know. I feel like if I were to start a YouTube channel, it would definitely be down the road a little bit mm-hmm. and um that's mostly just due to like i kind of touched on it earlier in the podcast but like i i feel like i just want to get away from a lot of the small town stuff right away um so like if i make a video and i say damn in it i don't want to go to class the next day and have my teachers giving me passive aggressive looks like yeah, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like stupid judgmental shit like that. yeah i get that also one thing that like i was talking to, about the other day too is um like, I, I was the same exact way as Thor, like, when I was a junior or senior in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm glad, like, Gus, you kind of, like, we were at, we were on vacation, actually, and you, you gave yeah. me my first video idea, because I was like, yeah, maybe I'll start a YouTube channel, I'm on, maybe I'll wait. But then you were like, nope, you're doing it now, boom. And then kind of forced me into <laughs> doing it, but then I was like, wait a minute, that was really satisfying, like, watching my my first video got, like, a thousand views in the first day or something, mm-hmm. and then I just, like, started doing it from there, so. Yeah, it's largely positive, but it is kind of like that digital crack where you're just like, oh, man, I like, know, that's so dude. cool. Like, look, it resonated with people. People were saying nice things. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember that. It was, we were, it was our family vacation out here, uh, and it was the first time that we went out to, to California ever. And uh, we were at the Griffith Observatory and I saw a door. There was two doors that are right next to each other. And as, as late as even like four months ago, the doors are still like that. But there are two giant signs within like a couple inches of each other that say entrance and no entrance. So I was like, yeah. I mean, that's the joke does itself. So I was like, Sven, just come over here. You're going to stand there and you're just going to go like what? and just like short circuit. And that was the yeah. whole the whole thing right there. And then I loved it, and I kept making videos. So yeah, and I guess I I, I think the biggest thing Thor is too. I've always like I've I've shared this to some degree too, but I I would never want you to feel as though you have to do a similar thing. Obviously. Not. Oh yeah, no, and I I don't feel that way at all either. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just I I've got some ideas. I've got some um video ideas and stuff from time to time. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied. Just popping in every once in a while on like Sven or your channels mm-hmm. and stuff and Gus. giving us ideas too honestly. dude Thor I gotta I, I'm trying to even think and retroactively assign some credit Thor has given me a lot of ideas on one of my bigger videos the uh, revolutionary classroom presentation where I just taped that piece of tape over the buttery crackers box and just says butt oh, crack yeah. Thor did that you were in like middle school when you came up that with that that was a classic bit yeah, yeah like, <laughs> I didn't come up with that at all but and that, there's other shit that, all over the years. That's the big thing again. I think we've definitely talked about it before, but it's like I, I don't I hope people realize how much just kind of like friend group stuff and family stuff 
how much jokes come from everybody. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like how many mm-hmm. things, like even in a commentary oh, yeah. video that I say that's totally a bit that Tony started that I do, you know? Yeah. Or like, I, it's, that's one of my favorite things though, is when I'm watching like one of our videos and I can tell one of our friend group kind of jokes or like tones for a bit we were doing is in it. Like w- whether it's like a Jakey video or something we're all doing together. I, I yeah. love that shit. I love yeah, it I too. And I've done that too. It was, I think, for my commentary video. I, I, I accidentally, I cut it out, but um, I stole Jakey's hello, hello <laughs> bit. Just because I, I had filmed it like right after hanging out with all the boys. And I was just like sounding like Jakey too much. So Yeah, dude, I'm always. It definitely rubs off. Well, that's one thing too. Yeah, with, with our friend group though, there is part of it too where I'll like be editing something. And I'll be like, I know that's not a direct joke thing, but that sounds too much like one of our friends. So I'm going to take that bit out. Yeah, and it's just like because again, you know, you all like, especially after one of our boys' trips, it's like us just throwing all of our bits into a pot. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, because so much of our conversation is that too. Yeah, like yeah. Fan, like yeah. you guys were saying, and where it's just like we'll just have like running jokes. It, it is kind of funny. I think we commented on this on one of the past trips, but it's like we can kind of look back and be like, oh, these were like the two running jokes for this trip. You know, it's like we yeah, went to Florida yeah, and it's like the monkey town and like mayor monkey and shit was like, a running <laughs> Dude, joke and stuff. Like, Oh my God. Should I t- tell people yeah. about that? A little <laughs> yeah. bit? Oh. So, what, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait, cause Ben, did you not hear about this at all? Or no, the, I haven't, you, I haven't. So <laughs> like, uh, so we were on the, the monorail going into Disney world. Uh, and it's like kind of a long trip in and they stopped at one bullshit stop that was just kind of, and nothing and uh there was an announcement for it where it beeped and a woman said something and jake you sitting next to me and he just goes like now entering monkey town <laughs> 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 and we both started laughing so i said like you pull up and it's just a bunch of actual apes like <laughs> 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 So for the rest of the that. day, we were all just riffing. Like at one point in the early in the day, and we were doing it with like Drew and Sabrina, everybody oh. too. We're like we we were sitting waiting for like uh, some Pirates of the Caribbean thing, <laughs> and there was like a test firework, and a bunch of people gasped. And Tony went, "Oh no, they learned how to use guns." <laughs> 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 so we just kept advancing it like Tony came up well, like I said that the monkeys elected a mayor and Tony was like yeah mayor monkey <laughs> like, that was his name. so I was like what Duh. Yeah. Uh, the the funny so thing. Shit. Oh, sorry. Guys. Oh, I think Tony had another fucking great. It was either Tony or you or somebody. But it, there was like another boom later, and it was after the. Oh no, they learned how to use guns, and somebody said in an even more panicked way. To, as a result of the second boom, they go, "Oh no, they learned how to reload." Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we were like, yeah. okay, yeah. We're just like, okay, we got that initial. Like they did fire, but it's <laughs> they're reloading. Oh my god. <laughs> they had a part so where advanced. like. They had a parade come through with like a bunch of high school students for a band. Yeah. And Tony mentioned like you look and it's it's Mickey and Mayor Monkey shaking hands. And he's like, oh, no, they made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, as we're spending the day at Disneyland or Disney World, Monkey Town is overtaking the rest of the park. It's like, and is no one paying this. attention to this? It's happening all around you. They strike a deal with Mickey Mouse. Because <laughs> he's so. He's so threatened by their power that he has. To. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love like the birth of that meme. Just like you telling about how Jakey said that because every time I hear like a, a Jakey story or read like any of Jakey's tweets, it's just I can hear it in Jakey's like fucking around voice, and it's just so funny, so much more funny to me. Yeah. Yeah, oh, dude, I love I that know. shit so much. Oh. It was, dude, it was like I was crying, laughing. Ab- and then one thing that I loved is when you're waiting in line for Haunted Mansion, there's part where it's supposed to be like a ghost quizzing kids on like little puzzles. So she'd like set up a rhyme and then the kid is supposed to say the rhyme. And one of the rhymes was monkey. And the next <laughs> one was banana. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just, I pretended to get really scared. <laughs> like, oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're here. <laughs> Even haunted mansion. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, we had something so cool happen for the the haunted mansion ride where we were in yes. um because when you're in haunted mansion you first like walk i think you guys know too right because you are sven and thor did you guys do a family trip to disney at all yeah, yeah we, we did, did right? one we did orlando we did like eight years ago and then we did it when okay. we went to california too last so year. for the people that don't know then yeah you get into haunted mansion and there's like 
a part where you're standing around and you kind of get like trapped in a room for a little bit and then you go out to the rest of the ride. And mm-hmm. as we were going out to the rest of the ride, one of the employees that's dressed like one of the ghost maids was like, oh my God, I love the podcast and said hi to us and it was really nice. And right after we got off Haunted Mansion, she was just like, hey, do you want to go on it again immediately right now? Like skip the line. And we were all just yeah. like, fuck yeah. So we got to go on again. That's the best part of Disney is when there's there's uh, employees that know us. It's, it makes That's me awesome. feel so happy. Really yeah, it, it sounds douchey, but it's happened a couple times, and it's saved us so much fucking time. Yeah. yeah. Dude, there was one in, when I was at Disneyland in, in the gift shop, and she was super nice. The main thing, too, is I think because a lot of the employees are off of college programs, and we have a real big college audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I absolutely do. But I think I think that helps. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I miss just theme park stuff. I wanted to go to Universal again, and yeah, dude. Oh, did you see the Universal email by the way? I saw it. I didn't see what it said. Did it say that they're extending our our passes? Yeah, because pass? I mean, for people that don't know, uh, Gus and I got uh, the like Universal Gold Pass. Because when you live near Universal, it's a pretty great deal. I don't want to like advertise for them, but it's like mm-hmm. if you're going to go to Universal multiple times, it's better to get that one. Um, and yeah, it's like an annu- annual pass. So I was wondering, do I have to ask for a refund? Cause I feel weird doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they said for every day, the park is closed. Our pass gets extended a day. That's a great move. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's a great yeah. move. I'm always a proponent too. I know everybody's different, but if, if you are traveling to like Los Angeles or just even that area for a vacation and you can only do Universal or Disney, I just got to go a thousand percent universal like every time. Oh, really? Like, I think I, Disney's yeah. still a better park. I love I love Universal and I think it's way more casual, but mm-hmm. I think Disney's got like like I, I like it more, but it's also Disney a way has bigger the trip. Ambiance down. Yeah, yeah, like I, Disney, I, yeah. I agree with that. Disney is so much more realized. And my biggest complaint about Universal Hollywood is that it's like, this seems like it should be more park stuff. Yeah. But I, mm-hmm. I think if you're going to go save some money, you're going to have a lot more cheaper options. Like just the ticket itself is so much cheaper for Universal. You got City Walk out there so you can get lunch for like eight bucks sometimes. And like, it's also, yeah. it's a better like Hollywood trip. So if you're mm-hmm. around LA for an LA trip, it's good. But you would have to be going to. Uh, California for Disney to have the better trip, I think. That's true. You know? Yeah, and yeah. it's just so like over an hour outside of Los Angeles and shit. But yeah, also, also you can why drink they... all over Universal. So that is a huge asset too. But why do they close the fucking Universal Park at like like five to eight? It's like it's yeah. so yeah. early. I think it's six on weekdays and eight on Saturday. Ugh! It would be so much huh. cooler at night. Like if they lit up all the parks. Like what? Like what are the different areas at Universal too? Like do they have? Is, is Indiana Jones Universal? They have that not at the Hollywood one. They have it in Florida. Um, but well, there's an Indiana Jones okay. ride at Disney. Yes, that's true. Oh. Okay, yep. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, they, like, they, uh, one thing I, I like is when, especially in the winter, because it's nice here, it gets darker you know, earlier, obviously, but it's still nice out, so you can go to Universal at nighttime. And I do the Waterworld show at night is fucking cool. Oh yeah, that was oh, rad as hell. I can only imagine. Show. That's like my favorite part of the park is that Waterworld show. Honestly, Dude, yeah. The park is even like it's fitted to be fully lit aesthetically and like uh, just maintenance wise at night too, which, and I don't get that. And it's like, dude, I've had Sabrina and I went to the special Christmas event thing this last year. And, mm. uh, like they had the whole nightmare before Christmas stuff set up or sorry, it was the Grinch who stole Christmas set up there. Nightmares in Disney. Um, but then like the whole Harry Potter world at night was great. And they had a custom made, like, oh, like singing. They had all the ghosts come out where they, they had like hundreds of projectors to project on the castle and they had spells and lanterns and oh, ghosts awesome. flying around and stuff. I was like, why don't you do this all the time? It doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Yeah. So there are other people out there that probably it maybe it's not cost effective or some shit, but well, cause isn't Disney's open till like 10, right? 10 minimum. And a lot of the times they'll go to yeah. midnight too. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, universal, um, Fucking throw the minions out and stay up later. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's the minions who are keeping Dude. them from staying up. Late. I loved so much when we went on the we went on the minions ride with Tyler and Curtis, right? Yeah, we did. It was pretty Where fun. It was just yeah, just kind of like drunkenly like pretending to just love the minions ride like around a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the minions ride is pretty lame. Where it's just a theater and your your seat moves a little bit, but like Curtis is going like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like it's not ruining it for other people we weren't complaining we were just so positive about it and i'm sure there were kids oh there was a kid that came up to us remember that at the end yeah 
Oh wait, that was on Harry Potter that we got off the ride of Harry Potter, and you could tell it was oh, like it was after it was with the super mega guys because we were doing oh, like that's oh, right. yeah, we yeah. were doing bits like, the whole time. Yeah, and he came off. He's like, "Wasn't that scary?" Yeah, and you could, <laughs> he right did it in us. like a, a side looking like where you could tell he's like, "I'm gonna say this to these guys after I get off, and that's gonna be so cool." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I loved. I've mentioned on the podcast before. I loved so much just going with the super mega guys doing the Harry Potter ride because for people who haven't done it, it's like this weird VR thing and when like harry came on screen both of our kind of cars were just like yeah <laughs> <laughs> i remember just hearing ryan go dumbledore <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love those boys i love that stuff i mean yeah. well gosh i don't know anything coming up anything we got to do what the fuck is happening oh boy nah Nothing anymore N- pretty much canceled um, wait, actually, uh, one last thing real quick. Sven, you got to uh, put another booger on the booger wall. Oh, sh- shoot. Sorry. Wait, no. no. Another <laughs> oh. Oh.